Okay, this video is a review of your parent functions. The first one you should remember is your linear, which is y equals x. It is a straight line right through the origin, going in both directions. The domain goes all the way to the left, negative infinity, all the way to the right, positive infinity. The range, all the way down to negative infinity, all the way up to positive infinity. The symmetry, where does it mirror image? How could I fold it so the mirror images lay on top of one another? I'd have to fold it this way across the y and across the x. Then they would match. That means it's origin symmetry. Zeros, meaning where does it cross the x-axis? At the point, zero, zero. Quadratic, the equation for a quadratic is y equals x squared. It is a parabola, you should recall that. The domain of this guy, all the way to the left, negative infinity, to all the way to the right, positive infinity. The range, the lowest the y value is, is zero. So I have a bracket and a zero, all the way up to positive infinity. The symmetry, how can I fold the mirror images? I fold right across that y axis, the two lines will match up. So this is a y axis symmetry. Zeros, where does it cross the x axis? At zero, zero. The cubic parent function looks like this, y equals x cubed. The graph looks like this. The domain, furthest left, negative infinity, furthest right, is positive infinity. The range, it goes all the way down, continuing forever to negative infinity, all the way up to positive. For symmetry, if I folded it this way, and I folded it down across the x and the y, I would then have it would match up. So that is origin symmetry. The zeros, where does it cross that axis, x-axis, at zero, zero. The square root function, y equals the square root of x. All right, it looks like this, at zero, zero, and it continues up. Notice it doesn't have any x values because you can't take the square root of a negative number. So we take from zero to positive infinity is my domain. The range is not going to go below that x-axis either. You're not going to have any negative values there. So it's going to go from 0 to positive infinity as well. The symmetry, well, there's only one line. There's nothing to have a mirror image of, so there is no symmetry. The zeros, where does it cross that x-axis? At 0, 0. Last one, absolute value. y equals the absolute value of x. You should recall the absolute value is a big V for value. The domain goes all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range, notice the lowest the y value is, is a zero. Then it goes on to infinity upwards because absolute value makes everything positive, remember? Symmetry, how can I fold the, mirror, the two mirror images to match across the y axis? And lastly, where does it hit that x-axis? At the point zero, zero. Okay, on the whisk, I want you to tell me in words, what's the parent function of this graph right here? Use the word for it, not the equation. Have your notes ready.